Hello, ako po si Mrs. White at ang ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon ay ang Potential and Kinetic Energy. Bago tayo magsimula, gusto ko sanang itanong sa inyo kung ano ba ang meron sa dalawang activities na ito na magkapareho. Roller coaster and water sports. Now, kung ako ang tatanungin ninyo, ang dalawang activities na ito has energy. So, in order for a roller co coaster to work, of course, kailangan niya ng energy. Same with uh, this guy, of course, dahil sa energy na uh, meron yung kanyang water sport equipment, of course, it is based on the amount of energy na meron yung speedboat na humihila sa kanya. And yan ang ating pag-uusapan today. Now, energy is divided into two forms. Dahil ang lahat ng energy ay pwedeng potential or kinetic. Now, we are going to define these two energy types. And we are going to start first with potential. And of course, potential energy, meron siyang tatlong kinds. The first one is gravitation potential energy, elastic potential energy, and chemical potential energy. Ano nga ba ang potential energy? Ang potential energy ay simply the energy na hindi pa ginagamit. So, an example niyan is, let's say for example, um, isang bagay, sinuspend mo in a height, and it's just there. Katulad nitong pulley na ito. So, if the object is suspended at a height, hindi siya gumagalaw, of course, there is a potential energy or energy that is stored. Same with, let's say for example, um, you stop the video and yung uh, ping pong ball is suspended in the air, Okay, before it even lands on the floor, it actually has potential energy. We will explain that further. Now, the first kind of potential energy is your gravitational potential energy. So, itong potential energy na ito is based on the object's position or kung nasaan yung object. Ang sinasabi lang nito is, the heavier the object is, of course, mas maraming potential energy. Or, the higher the object is, of course, the more potential energy. So, itong pinakamagandang example. So, nakikita niyo yung um, bato na nasa, nakasuspend at a height. Of course, dahil nasa itaas na siya and then heavy pa siya. It has a mass and height, of course, it has a greater potential energy. Same is true with this dog na lumalakad sa tightrope. Of course, dahil nasa height siya, he's affected with the gravity. And of course, the higher the dog is, of course, mas madaming or mas malaking potential energy. Now, the second kind of um, potential energy is your elastic potential energy. Now, think of it as yung rubber band. So, in a stretch mo siya, di ba? So, once you stop stretching it, that rubber band has elastic potential energy and of course pagka naman you're squeezing an object then it has elastic energy as well now the third kind of potential energy is your chemical potential energy and this is the energy na nasa store sa mga bagay katulad nitong battery or even our food which is of course possessing chemical potential energy. Now, let's move on to the next form of energy, which is kinetic energy. So, ano nga bang kinetic energy? So, ito ang energy na matatagpuan sa mga bagay na gumagalaw. So, once ang isang bagay ay gumalaw na, that object possesses kinetic energy. So, a good example here is, let's say you use a pulley. And then afterwards, kinat mo yung um, rope. 
And of course, once na bumagsak yung bagay from a height, as it moves down, of course, it's um, possessing kinetic energy. Same sure with roller coaster. So, pag slide down ng roller coaster, of course, the kinetic energy builds up from being potential to kinetic energy. Another example is yung skiing. So, in this diagram, if you notice, as the object slides down, of course, it builds up its kinetic energy. So, will potential become kinetic and kinetic become potential energy? Well, this is an explanation that uh, will explain this phenomenon. So, assuming na sumakay ka ng roller coaster, so bago bumaba yung roller coaster from a height, of course, mataas ang potential energy niya. And of course, the kinetic energy is low dahil hindi nga gumagalaw because ang kinetic energy is the energy of a moving object. So, as soon as na mag-slide down yung roller coaster, as it reaches down from a height, mas konte ang potential energy at the bottom, but maximum kinetic energy kaya mabilis, ma mararamdaman mo yung bilis dahil nga gumagalaw na yung object and of course the kinetic energy builds up. As soon as you reach the first hill, if you notice, mababa pa rin yung potential energy, pero mataas pa rin yung kinetic energy. So Again, as it loses height, of course, it gains speed. Kaya nga bumibilis ang roller coaster. And of course, potential turns into kinetic. And of course, dahil doon, um, the kinetic energy, mafe-feel mo yan dahil nga, alam mo yun yung rush ng no, um, roller coaster because of the fact that the potential is converted to kinetic energy. Sana ay manatutunan kayo sa lesson natin ngayon about kinetic and potential energy. I'll see you in class.